Alright, so if you guys are reading the title of this video, yes, I am leaving chiropractic school. So in this video, I am going to explain why I've made this decision and hopefully someone who is in a very similar situation uh, could resonate with my experience. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Calvin and today I want to talk specifically why I've chosen to leave chiropractic school, what's the thinking process behind and what I'm going to do onwards with my life. So here I would like to say that this is definitely not an easy decision to make. If you have been following my channel for a while, I've been spending two years at chiropractic school and the decision to leave in chiropractic school now would mean that I have technically wasted the previous two years to a incomplete degree, which doesn't really mean anything in current society. So I'm talking about all the hard work all the time spent and money invested in. So yeah, why do I still continue to do that? Okay, so in order for me to answer this question, I think I have to bring you guys back to two years ago. So two years ago, I was just finishing my master's degree at University College London and at the time, I was in the crossroad of figuring out what career pathway that I want myself to, to go into. So ideally, I want to go into a career that I enjoy while utilizing my strengths. So what I did at the time was that I laid out all my strengths and unfair advantage on a piece of paper and figuring out what sort of career could match my strengths. So summarizing all the things I've written down into this one-liner conclusion, I want to work in a career that is scientifically related, which is also constantly advancing and has a human interaction component in it. And at the time, I sort of have four choices in mind, PhD, medicine, physical therapy, chiropractic. And of course, each of these careers has their own distinctions. From my experience in research, I quickly figure out that in PhD, the human interaction component may be lacking because uh, there will be a lot of time spent in the lab and writing. Medicine kind of fits all my career, but may be very competitive to get in. Physical therapy and chiropractic too fits all my career with uh, very similar prerequisites. So taking into all these factors into consideration, I actually have taken off PhD off the chart and I then proceed to apply to medicine, physical therapy and chiropractic. And of course, life has its obstacles. Uh, at the time, I've indeed got rejected uh, in medicine, but I got an offer at physical therapy and chiropractic. And then while I thought that's fine, I still got two offers, uh, but then obstacles didn't end there. At the time, I applied to physical therapy school in the UK, and what happened was it turns out my tier 4 visa at the time can only allow me to study accumulated years of 5 years in the UK. And me at the time, having already completed 4 years in the UK, will make me ineligible to uh, proceed to another two year of study. So then PT school is now out of the game. So this then led me to only one offer which is chiropractic and I think it is still a very great offer and I'm very grateful for that. So according to my plan, I then proceed to going to chiropractic school. So why leave? Alright, so it has now been two years in chiropractic school and I would say I've spent a considerable amount of time inside and outside of school sort of engaging with the community. So there are certainly things that I like and dislike from my experience here in the field, uh, but overall I would say it is a very positive experience for me. I get to meet amazing people and friends in the community and I actually also spend a great deal of time uh, engaging with practicing chiropractors, just shadowing them and just talk to them, not just on an academic point of view, but also uh, from a practicing point of view. 
despite all this positive experience, I do have my concerns. Throughout my chiropractic journey, I came across several things which has yet to date made me feel conflicting. And that has made me feeling not 100% committed into the field. This is a thing that I've actually previously mentioned in one of my videos. As the profession developed centuries ago, the fundamental values of the profession kind of broke into two schools of thought. On one side are chiropractors who seek for an evidence-based approach. On the other side, some chiropractors strive to remain vitalistic ideas in their practice. Which is related to um, me having a tough time finding my chiropractic identity. Why is this a problem? This is a problem especially for me as a first year student as internally this divergence have manifested themselves to me as an identity struggle for how chiropractors should practice. The chiropractic community from what I have observed in my own experience is very complicated. It's just a lot on the very different practice approach and practice philosophy in the field that has made me feel today very confusing as a chiropractic student but this is not a video where I want to dive deep into the history and if you guys want to know more about it uh, you want to check out that video here where I previously talked about but with such diverse and different and sometimes extreme methodologies in the practice approach I am feeling very confused and conflicted when it comes to associating myself into the community as a whole. This is absolutely a conflict for me as a student and having reflected upon these concerns I've come into a conclusion to myself is that I don't feel belong in the chiropractic community. So what now? So what now? I'm currently halfway into chiropractic school where continuing it will only extend my long-founded concern. But at the same time, I don't want to waste two years of hard work, time and money. So I've revisited my plan, but this time I have added an extra layer of dimension where I've taken into account of, of my feelings. So I was hit basically with three options. First, to continue my chiropractic education. Second, to revisit other career pathways such as medicine and physical therapy. So this is what I did. In the beginning of my second year of chiropractic school, I actually applied to medicine and physical therapy school. At the same time, further engage into the chiropractic community, wanting to find ways to navigate my internal conflict. So a couple months went by, physical therapist school didn't end up happening because my referee sent in my reference letter late, so I completely missed the deadline, and I got an offer. I got an offer at a medical school at my home, which is in Hong Kong, and this has definitely made me really reconsider um, medicine. So here comes the verdict. I'm actually very sad to announce that I am leaving chiropractic school as I'll be taking my offer at medical school in Hong Kong. This is a very hard decision for me to make as I've previously mentioned. I'm not young anymore. This is what well, my third degree and all the hard work money and time has pulled in. Uh, I wouldn't say the knowledge bit was wasted. I've definitely gained a lot of uh, learnings and education in the musculoskeletal field. Absolutely enjoyed uh, it, especially CMCC has made it um, the curriculum very rigorous in terms of a very evidence-based curriculum, which is something that I, I, I enjoyed a lot. And my opinion still stands. I think my experience in the chiropractic field is still a very positive experience for me. A lot of great chiropractors I've met. Um, and I genuinely think that it is a very meaningful career. Yeah, I, I hope by sharing this, it could be of benefit to anyone who may share the same sentiment. 
my goal after all is to hope everyone could go into a career that they truly enjoy and feel belong. Whether medical doctors or a chiropractor, I don't think my approach to treating patients will be a lot different in the future. But now, being situated into the medical field, I do have a wider scope of practice, which is something that I'm extremely excited for. But yeah, as for the future of this channel, I'll be slowly transitioning my content to my life in medical school. And this is actually something I really look forward to because it will be interesting to see how much it actually overlaps. So if this is something that you guys would enjoy, I will continue to appreciate all the support. Okay. And while this will be the end of my chiropractic career, this is for sure not the end of my pursuit in the healthcare industry. So I really look forward to reunited with you guys again in the future as colleagues in the healthcare field and hopefully we can do great things together as an inter-multidisciplinary team. So we will see each other in the very near future. Bye bye.